What's up everybody, Tortora and Alfred standing outside of the dome, which is bright and vibrant orange. Why? Because this team is heating up. 4-0 to start the season. They are 3-0 at home, 1-0 on the road, 2-0 in the ACC. Thoughts? Thoughts, hey, might have not have been a hurdy, but you know what, you gotta take the win when you can get it. Uh, tough night with the turnovers, but you know, defense stepped up and did what they did. Um, saved the game, Andre Smith, you know, Reliable, you know, good old Andre made his field goals, you know, because that's the difference of the game with Virginia missing their field goals. Yeah. So, you know what, you know, you just that take it, go back to the drawing board because, you know, teams aren't going to key in on Sean Tucker. And you know what, I, I think they just can't get frustrated with that and uh, just play off of it. You know, there's good things that happen in that very first drive that they need to build on and, you know, maintain throughout the whole game. Yeah, no, it was great. Andre Schmidt, Dino Baber said after the game that we have the old Andre back. He was 5 for 5 tonight, and Virginia missed, as, as Isaac said, early on. Missed two, one to the left, one to the right. Either one of those would have won the game for them. Syracuse ahead 16 to nothing in the first half. Give up 20 points in the second half, but do enough, only scoring six points in the second half, to win the game and get it done. It may not have been pretty. They're not turnover free anymore. Right. However, right. when they made a turnover, turnovers will come right back. And shout out to Garrett Williams with plenty of NFL scouts in the building. Almost half the league, 15 NFL teams were there that I counted. And Garrett Williams had a forced fumble, fumble recovery, and an interception in the game. Yeah, he did well. He played well for himself. And not only did Garrett did, he, like uh, the coach was saying in the press conference, a lot of backup guys had to come in there and play because of you know, little things and nicks here, there, but you know what? They they, they stuck together. They, they fought together. You know, the offense wasn't getting it done. The defense rose to the occasion. And you know what? You know, they'll get another team next week and then hopefully into the bye week where they can kind of rest themselves for a, a good stretch down um, later on in the season. It's going to be very interesting that Syracuse guts it out. Like I said, rather win ugly than lose and, and be almost mistake-free. Yeah, exactly. So, and you know, it may be ugly, but as we say when you're dating, hey, it might be ugly, but it's still a date. Exactly. <laughs> so, so Syrac all counts. <laughs> Syracuse gets the victory. The Orange Dome is going to be lit up tonight, and you're going to see this team moving forward at 4-0, and starting off the season only two games away from being bowl eligible here in 2022. For Tortora and Alfred, we're going to have a full post game as well as talk on 4-0 and and moving forward to Wagner. Don't miss it, which is coming up on Wake Up Call with Dan Tortora this week. As always, the bucket hat, the Wake Up Call logo, undefeated, and the Dan Tortora Broadcast Media logo are undefeated. undefeated. We'll talk with you soon. Stay safe, and as always, God bless. No stress. Do your best.